press tab, go back into edit mode. We're going to go to edge select and select this edge. Actually, I want to move this vertex back a little more first. And then select this edge. And we want to continue this edge around that circle there. So we're going to do control 1 to go to back view. We're going to do ED extrude. Hold control, snap it to here. But actually first we're going to have to uh, bring it down. Then do G. Hold control and snap it so that it snaps the top vertex instead of the bottom one. And then we're going to reposition this bottom vertex more down like that. And then hold Alt and right click on this edge to get these two. Then E to extrude, hold control and snap to here. Bring this one over to here again. Hold Alt and right click to get these two again. E to extrude, hold control and snap there. Then move this one again. Hold Alt, right click to get this edge. E to extrude, we're just going to continue down. Hold Control, snap. It's not letting me do it, so I'm just going to left click here and then do G and try to snap it there. It's better, that works. Reposition this one again. Hold Alt, right click to get these two. E to extrude, hold control and snap, and then bring this one up again, and into position, and actually I just realized we've been lining things up with the wrong vertices, so we're just going to go to select and choose linked, and we want this middle section too, so we're going to just hold shift and right click here, and then do select linked, to get that too, we're going to have to reposition most of these. So we're just going to bring this down for a minute and then press Z and deselect all these, bring this over so we can tell which vertices are the ones that are part of this diffuser here, which is what this is. And now we want to just select all these vertices in this area. And I'm going to press uh, G and then snap to this point. That'll snap that to that point. Then we want to select these here. Make sure you get the one that's behind it too. And press G and snap to this second point here. That's what we're going to be snapping to the whole time is the second point. So press G, hold control and snap it. You're going to want to do the same with all these middle vertices, so hold Alt and right click. And then select the rest of these. Then press G, hold Control and snap it. I actually want these center points to be further out, so I'm going to hold Alt, right click to get these, except I'm going to deselect this one. And uh, we're going to pull these out a bit more, something like that, to kind of match, kind of match the rest of this. So that's that part realigned. Now we have to do these over here. I'm going to select both of these and go to back view with control 1. Do G, right click, or hold control and snap. And actually, let me just check to make sure that's gonna I guess that'll be fine so we're gonna do control one again and get these next two points G hold control snap same thing here and then just reposition these to make it a nicer curve
and we're going to continue snapping and repositioning these inner ones to make it a bit thinner. And then we'll just take a quick look at this from a different angle and kind of adjust these as we see fit. That kind of fixed it. So I just grabbed this vertex and moved it forward and that kind of made it look a little better like how it's supposed to basically. But just continue like adjusting these to wherever you think they're supposed to be until you get something that looks nice like this. This looks pretty good. Then we can go ahead and save this. Now what we want to do is continue bringing this part over here first. Let's just move these two back and then select these three. Press E to extrude hold control and snap to this outer point and we're going to start we're going to try to get rid of this line here and to do that we're just going to select this vertex E to extrude and hold control to snap here now let's just hold alt and shift and right click on this edge and press F to make a face that will end this line so we don't have to, to worry about it anymore now we can see we have a little gap in between here so let's just go to wireframe select this vertex C for circle select make sure you get both of them so you have two vertices drag it back some until that problem disappears you can bring this one back a little if you need to as well Now we're going to select this face, so go to face select, select this face, go back to vertex select, and deselect these two, and then press J to join to get this line here. So now we have something like this. We can see we kind of have a problem here with like the shading. It's not it's super easy to see, but there's this line here. And the reason that is is because like this section and this section are actually separate so if we do alt and right click you can see it doesn't continue on and if we do it over here it's the same because there's two sets of vertices in the center we're actually going to fix that right now so just select one of these vertices go into wireframe with Z C for circle select and to make sure you get two vertices again alt M at last and do the same for this one, select, C for circle, select, Alt M at last. That's going to get rid of that shading issue there. So now this section is actually connected to this, at least part of it. So now we're going to hold Alt and right click and deselect these back vertices. So you should have just the outer part selected. E to extrude, right click to cancel, and we're going to drag this down a little. We're going to try to make this, uh, this part right here. Grab this vertex, bring it down a little. Grab this one, hold G and snap it to that vertex. Now we want to hold Alt and right click. Get this whole edge again, edge loop. Deselect this outer one and bring these forward a little to give it that beveled look now we want to deselect this outer one press E to extrude right click to cancel and just bring this down a little more to give it a nicer nicer edge here something like that then we're going to take these four vertices. Well, actually, we're going to hold Alt and right click this to make sure we get all the right ones. Hold Shift, select this one, and make a face by pressing F. And we're going to get this line here. I think actually we want to merge these vertices. So I'm going to press Z, select this vertex, circle select, and get the one behind it. Alt M at last. 
and hopefully that will well it makes this little problem here but if I do control R nah, I'm not sure that's gonna fix it so let's leave it like that for now and we'll do uh, alt and right click and then deselect these E to extrude, right click to cancel, bring it down again make this face here press F these actually need to be pulled in though maybe down some more I'm going to check on the back view with control 1 and Z and uh, let's bring these to the bottom for now something like that check in side view that looks okay and uh, what we can do at this point press E to extrude, right click to cancel and bring this back S, Y, and then Z to flatten it out on the Y axis. I'm going to snap it to this point. And we're just going to merge these two. Alt M at last. And we'll do the same thing here. So deselect those. Alt right click to get this whole edge. Then deselect these. E to extrude. Right click to cancel and bring it forward a little. And just snap it actually on the Y axis to that point and fill this in so that we get this so we have a uh, part of the diffuser here other than this little triangle part this looks pretty good so we're just gonna save so go file save and now we're gonna go back and try to fix that triangle again so we're actually just gonna select that vertex again and put it back to the way it was so just select this vertex Hover your mouse down in this area, press V, that'll rip it. And then you right click to reset the position and now we have back it the way it was before we merged. Before we merged those two. And the reason I did that is because if you look like right here, it still it actually kinda has that little triangle effect. Maybe not as extreme as what we have, but it's still there, it's visible on the car itself. So this makes it like that little triangle effect there so this makes it still more like realistic and it actually looks better because we don't have that bad shading oh whoops the wrong one <laughs> this one okay so what we're gonna do now we'll just make the the tail pipes real quick so we're just gonna do control one and go back to edit mode by pressing tab left click on the car somewhere then left click like over here go to create do a circle make this like try like 16 vertices at first and then do so just click here type in 16 press enter then R X 90 G to move it S to scale it line it up with the outer edge of this of one of these circles E to extrude, right click to cancel, S to scale I'm going to do that one more time, E to extrude, right click to cancel, S to scale and do a little a really small one next to it this will just help with the shading now do alt and right click to get the outer edge so we have the inner edge and the outer edge E to extrude, right click to cancel, bring it back and then go to tools in object mode, go to tools and do smooth shading, so now it's smooth shading then we're going to do control R in edit mode add in a loop cut and bring it close again to sort of correct some of the shading We may want to do the same on the inside, add in an edge loop. So 
looks pretty decent I guess so once you're happy with it I may just move this a little I still have Q as my edge slide so I can just use Q and edge slide uh, if you don't you know just reset or just go back and uh, set your edge thing to Q then you can edge slide this until you get something you like that's probably fine so once you're happy with it do control one for back view and uh, we're just gonna do select linked uh, shift D to duplicate right click to cancel and drag it into position since uh, like these references like how this one went this diagonal and ours goes this diagonal if we if we line this up perfectly like it looks a little weird because they're not really in the right spot so with this one selected I'm just gonna hold shift select this do select linked now we get both of them and in back view by doing control one we're just gonna move them over so it makes a little more sense like they're not they're not lined up with the uh, reference but they are lined up with uh, our little creation here Then we can pull these back some, and perhaps pull this one forward. So I'm just going to do select linked and maybe, maybe pull this one forward a little, offset them a bit. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. No, I think they're actually probably pretty flush. So I'm just going to control Z that. So. And just adjust these as you feel necessary. Something like this, I think, may be acceptable. And just to finish this off, we're just going to uh, go back into edit mode, do create, make a plane, RX90. And uh, it's actually, you can see the normals are messed up, so I'm going to do RX180 to flip it. <coughs> Excuse me, and now we're just going to drag them together till they meet, and do S and then Z to scale it down on the Z axis. Drag it in on the X axis. And we're just going to try to line this up to cover that hole. So the goal is to basically just cover this hole that we have. So I'm going to do R and then X to rotate on the X axis try to match the angle that we have and uh, bring this back and then maybe take this one vertex and bring it back by itself and in slightly to hide it and now we have that all hidden everything looks pretty good so uh, we're gonna do file save <coughs> 